Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and we are on our mod review series, and we are on to a absolutely incredible mod. Now, this mod is called Automated Arc. I have everything set up so you can see ahead of time, but I'll go through and explain everything to you and why it's a mod that you should at least give a try to. Especially if you're a solo player, there's nothing more frustrating when you have to spend 10 minutes walking things before back and forth between, I don't know, an Indie Forge and a Grinder or whatever you want to do. Now, everything that I have is all part of the core. There's a whole bunch of additional mods that are added into this if you want to add them. There's like, if you want to do a PvP server, it is completely possible. They have a PvP assistance, um, kind of like turret based thing. But it's pretty cool. So, you can see there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff here. The only thing I don't have put down is the vacuum. But, right here. Uh, trash can. Uh, you can look through all of this stuff. And it's all really unique. So, any th so, you can see right here. They all have different styles of what they do. And they all are very good at what they do. But there's only, I don't know, what was that? 21? Yeah, 21, no, 20 different things-ish. Um, and it adds in a whole bunch of really unique stuff. You can see here is an Indie Forge, but the really cool thing is you have the option to have a miniature Indie Forge, which is pretty neat. I like that a lot. But that's my personal opinion. So, you know, take that for what you will. Um, but you can see right here, it does require certain things to actually run it. Now, everything else you see is very normal and standard for ARC. There's nothing super special about it, but um, it, it's all... It's all based about making the most pain in the butt stuff in the game, just the usual base shenanigans, easier. Now, how you do it is very simple. You can, I'm just going to start off by showing you something cool. So basically, I have this grinder right here, and we're going to go through each thing and show you, so don't worry about that. Um, you can see that I can grind all, I can grind up ingots, uh, you, basically all I got to do is that. And then it automatically, because of this fan, very fancy, uh, little control console, picks it all up and puts it over here. Now, that's great and all, and normally this wouldn't be such a big deal. Um, because, you know, great, you, you've moved to one central location, now I just gotta move it again. But you can set your storage boxes, your chem station, all of that stuff to automatically pull this stuff and make and do what you need it to. Now, you could very simply, you know, set this metal in here, that's up to you. But you can say, hey, I want you to pull, I want you to balance the forges, which basically means that you're going to get an equal amount, so you don't have to worry about one working harder than the other ones. It's a really fancy thing. Um, you're going to go, I mean, you could just toss it in there. You could leave it inside this console, and the console will automatically send it to that, which is really unique. Um, the oil drum is also unique. It's pretty cool. Uh, organic oils last longer. Um, this is a really fun station. The organic polymer, or the, I guess you want to call it the polymer transmuter. Um, but basically what you can do is you can make organic and regular polymer just from corrupted nodules. So it gives like extinction a little bit of a fun thing here. Um, and you, you see this right here. You can make uh, organic polymer into corrupted nodules. Um, you can just straight up make organic polymer or uh, the... I guess hard polymer from organic, so you no longer have to just waste your stuff. Uh, you can make a whole bunch in this station itself, which is really fancy. That's why I like it a lot. It's a very nice mod. It's something you don't think about until you're like, hmm, I just got 400 organic polymer. I only need 10. So you can turn that other 390 back into a regular hard form of polymer that you don't lose. All right. Now the next thing, the Smithicator. This is an awesome, 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 aw, you get the point. It's an amazing thing. You can see that you can make automated arc things in here if you wanted to. Um, but why this is so cool is I can go through here and look up different types of metal structures that I want to make. Um, and I can literally just pump them out by the hundreds if I wanted to. So let's say I go over here and I'm like, all right, I really want to make myself a metal foundation. I'm going to set the pull multiplier to, let's just say 50, okay? I'm going to go ahead and click on this, click pull resources, there it goes, and it'll pull exactly the set amount for 50. Now all you do is then hit A, and it'll make it for you. So you no longer need to worry about going back and forth and getting the right amount, it does it for you. Now you can do anything that you can normally do inside of a smithy. 
which is really unique, obviously. It's something that's very helpful. Now, you can also, you don't see it sometimes because it's like hidden up top, the Smithicator, right up here. Yes, you do see this. Uh, you can actually do some really neat things in this. Uh, the Smithicator works as a fabricator. You can see that. Um, it has auto pull, which is really nice. Let's say I wanted to make a tech daddy storage. Um, it does give you the ability to make tech, uh, at least some tech, which is pretty nice. Um, but that's some people don't like that as much. So you can not do that. You can turn it off. I'm pretty sure in I and I. Um, pretty well. Um, there's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do. Let's say you wanted to make Riot, right? Um, Riot's pretty simple to make. You can see that I've got a lot of resources for it. Let's say that I wanted to set a pull multiplier to one. And I want to pull some resources for it. And I can now make... Oh, I didn't have silica pearls. Crap. Um, but at least that brings up the point. If you don't have the resource, it won't be able to pull it. But it'll pull everything else that you need. So that way you can kind of get started. Which is really, really fancy. I like that a lot at least. Um, because it gives you everything you need. And then you're like, oh, I guess I have to go farm some silica pearls. So it works as like a little starter entry level. Um, but it works identical to the Smithicator. It's just like the top... So you've got the Fabricator and the Smithicator, which is pretty fancy, and uh, you can make large amounts of things. Now, it doesn't make it unfair because it doesn't instantly make them for you, um, which is awesome. I think it's totally balanced because it just basically allows it to make it easier for you. But that's my personal opinion, so take that for what you will. All right, so we've talked about the grinder, which can automatically pull things and send things. This little guy, which is fun. Uh, the Indie Forge, Oil Drum, which stores things for longer. Polymer Transmuter. Smithicator and the top of it. Now, this is the workbench which you get first, and this is how you make all of these different things. Uh, you can see that the, there are some that are really easy to make, and others that aren't so easy to make. Um, they are basically, uh, you can see this refrigerated chem bench. There's a whole bunch of fancy things that you can make. Uh, it's up to you if you want to make them, but oh well, your choice. All right, now here's another fun one the chem station. Oh, I love this one so much. Uh, you can see this. It's basically grind resources into items with OCD pulling. Um, you can make all kinds of fun things here, and it does it by the thousands. Let's say you want to make 1,000, right? Let's just confirm, right? Boom. And then it'll automatically, oh, I guess I didn't have enough flint. But it will make it for you, which is really, really, really handy. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a quick break. All right, so... Anyways, you can see right here, you can make all of this stuff and you just need to set the multiplier and it'll automatically pull it for you, which is amazing. Um, and that's pretty neat. I love that option right there. And you can see you do have the normal uh, radio wheel for most of this stuff. Uh, some has additional functions to it because you can turn on spe like special things like creating gas if you really wanted to do that. Balancing the forges, we talked about that. Um, but these just like give you different types of things that you have the access to basically add as an additional function. Now, the AA vacuum. Now, this is something that's kind of interesting. Uh, you see it right here. It picks up everything off the ground and it basically gives you that ability for your control console to sort it out. And it does work for earthquakes, so it makes it pretty fun for that kind of concept. So I'll go ahead and throw that down. Sometimes it takes a second to actually pick everything up. But as you see, boom, it went ahead and uh, did that. So, pretty easy. Um, and this right here, OCD pulling button, uh, manually delete anything inside of it. You can add specific resources to the list and just get rid of them. And that's obviously that's something that uh, if you're playing official or something like that, you don't need more of it, but it's just like a little additional feature, if you want to call it that. Um, now, here's the more important part. And this is what one thing that a lot of people misunderstand about the value of this mod let's say you have a specific way you like to organize things and that's totally cool i do as well but you don't like spending nine years trying to organize everything uh this mod is going to make your life so much easier uh so basically these individual vaults what you can do is you can go ahead and toss a resource in them and click add resources to list that resource is now registered to that vault. Now, what's so great about that is that vault now specifically holds that resource. So you can use your little crafting station to send that specific resource to this menu right here. You can see that. 
So, uh, Chris, uh, I want the polymer. I'm going to go ahead and click. Uh, la, 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 where is it? Why can't I find it? Show a CD menu. All right. This one's a little bit different. The metal vaults are, at least. So, um, that's that. There's the OCD vault for that one. We're going to go ahead and toss some cementing paste in this one. We're going to go ahead and add that in. But the awesome thing is not what I just showed you. So everything you see right here, yes, yes, is about to be magically filled. Now all you have to do is click the manual sort button. And conveniently, in each one of these vaults now, is those resources that you wanted there. Now, I think that function alone is probably worth everything in this mod because it automatically sorts everything. And you could have a vault for every resource and it would individually sort all of it. Now that, that my friends is amazing. Now, the last thing that I am gonna show you is a really neat add-on, not necessarily an add-on, but it's really helpful for babies and uh, actual grinding of things. I gotta pick a couple of berries in order to really show you. Um, and this right here is the actual refrigerated feeding trough. Now, very cool. Um, I usually just toss everything you can in it. Um, there you go. Boom, shakalaka right there. And then you can see that there's not much in there, but it does count. And that is refrigerated right there. So it counts as a refrigerator. You can click balance food and it'll send it to anything nearby, which is really fancy. Um, you can enable a message if you want to, uh, but that's up to you. Um, and there's all kinds of different things that this could be used for. Let's say you've got like five trows in your base and you want them all evenly split. You could very simply just hit E on it and it'll automatically split the food so all the dinos get food. It, I just think that's an amazing function. Um, and that, to me, that's really cool. Again, this mod is entirely based on saving time and it's just... That, that's really what it is. Now, let me go ahead and show you something else really cool. Uh, let's say you really want to have multiple resources in a vault for some reason because you're you're crazy like that. Um, you can click add resources to list. And go ahead and go here and manual sort. And it'll send all of those additional resources to that. So that's pretty cool. Now, this right here, uh, this is the oil drum. You can see this right here. Pretty simple, self-named. You don't need to worry about it. You can store oil in here, organic oils too, but that's up to you. Now, to me, this is amazing because it allows you to have all of that stuff at your fingertips, nice and neatly sorted. Now, it can be a bit overpowered for, let's say you're playing an official, if one tribe has it and one tribe doesn't, that's a big difference because, I mean, it's not fair if one person has the ability to automatically sort everything it saves you hours of time so anyways but that's my thought process if you want to save hours of time this mod is amazing so make sure you go ahead and grab it all right but anyways hopefully this helps you out make sure you follow if you have any questions leave a comment below and i'll try and get back to you all right teach out